What's cracking, boys and my ladies? It's Red Creates, and today I'm bringing you guys a video on how to defeat Godric the Grafted and Elden Ring. So, Godric the Grafted is probably going to be the first boss you're going to face. That's really going to give you a bit of trouble for a beginner, besides maybe Murgit. But Godric the Grafted is the undefeated champion of breakdancing, and, and he will make you eat his dust if you do not keep up with his moves. I am not exaggerating with that. So, in today's video, he's pretty tough. I'm going to teach you guys how you can be him a bit easier. So, you guys can actually summon Nephili, Nephili, Luix, and she will help you actually take down Godric pretty easily if you got the um, damage to the shout on Godric. But in, by going to this certain location right before the boss fight, that is going to make her available for you to summon, and she is really good. So, I would recommend coming to this boss fight with at least a plus 5 or higher weapon. Like me, I'm using the Great Soto, Guts Great Soto, plus 7, and it's a heavy version of it. But once you're all situated, going to the boss fight, fully summoned, we're going to go into the Godric the Grafted boss battle. And, I'm going to start off with this attack right here. I have never been able to get the timing of that dodge with the underhanded swing when he hits to the ground, but he does have this wind attack. To do it three times and then usually go to his break dance overhead swing and then summon his um tornadoes he can do one of three tornadoes on the ground he also has a five swing combo with his axe sometimes we'll do the break dance other times we'll just do the tornado comes down to rng oh boy try not to die just yet but there's his fridger he always goes up on that twice. Then you can go in. Feel free to get in a swing or two. If God you allows. Nicely done. I will take that. But yeah, Nephili. You can get her easily on every character just by doing the um, quest line. Which you just go right to her at the beginning of... Or right before this boss battle. Now yeah. You know your face too because... Dodger will just kind of cut off his forearm with his axe and go and grab the dragon head. And the dragon head is not only going to power him up, but it's also going to give him a few more extra... I was worried it didn't roll, but... Attacks with his dragon. Also, he's going to be a lot stronger, so keep that in mind. Get behind with Nephili. Be careful, though. You do not want him to grab like he did to her, because that's going to do some colossal damage. And not good. But we can get behind and kind of just swing. Keep in mind though he is stronger in phase 2. So you're going to want to keep your distance. Oh, I'm using the Artorius weapon art. Did a good amount of damage. And now he's going to do a double fridger. But if worst things comes to worst. Um, once she's dead you can actually summon your wolf boys. But right there, you can indeed get in close and attack. Who the hell is calling me right now? Get out of here. When she's dead, you're on your own. And please don't die just yet. Wonder slice of physic. Shut up. <laughs> What's my phone going off for? But there we go, boys. Godric the Grafted defeated. I apologize for someone calling me on my phone while we were playing, but there you go. Godric the Grafted has been vanquished. And again, if when um, Nephili dies, you can summon your Wolf Boys or whatever other ashes you have to help you out and to improvise just a bit longer so you can get in that damage and take down Godric. The great runes have also been activated, but we will have to go to a tower to activate those. I will make a video following up this one. It will be up right now if I do have that out. But yeah, before you leave, after getting Godric's great rune, go ahead and rest at the site of grace. Because respawning the area, or resign the area, is going to allow us to get this cool little funny um scene here. Happen. NPC boy with the gate from the start. You guys can see he's stomping Godric's head over here. We will jump with him. Lord, 
after all that grafting? Where did that get you? Look down on me, would ya? Mm. Godric, you filthy slug. Feel it. Feel it. Feel my bloody wrath. So yeah. That was how to be Godric the Grafted. If you guys enjoyed this video or got any value from the content at all, make sure to hit me up with a like on the videos. Always appreciate it. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you guys know when my Elden Ring videos and content come out. And also, make sure to add me to your email list if you do use your email list advocately so that you guys can get an extra notification that way too. Also, hit me up on all my socials as well. Go follow those. will be in the description below. So you guys can get on in any types of updates that I might have. But until next time, check out the Elden Ring playlist that will be in the description below or up on the screen now. So that you guys can get in on the journey and join it as well. And until next time, I have been Ren Creates. Make sure to go out there, rise my tarnished, and brandish the Elden Ring.